All right, another seed of log up here. Kind of give you the plan here. And all my other ones are kind of stacked over there for now with uh, kind of the worst flitches on top to keep them out of the sun. So this one has got pretty good wood in that circumference of that small end down all the way through the log. And it's got a real funky top here. And it's all uneven widths and thicknesses. As you can see from here, there's a big well in right there. Same thing over there, some bark inclusion. So what I'm going to try to do is whittle that high side off, use that as my good spot. Um, and then it looks like we'll get something around six by six there and then whittle some boards out of it. Uh, it's going to still a pretty good hollow right there. So we're going to have to see. But that looks like what makes the most sense. So I'm um, waiting. Mommy just got home, so Danny's on high alert over here. See Danny down there. He's waiting for Mommy. He knows he can't go out front, so he's waiting for her to come out back. But we got the solar eclipse coming. Hopefully you don't go blind. Uh, it should be here in about, in about an hour. So I'm going to try and mow this log out, and then maybe we'll take some video of the solar eclipse. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start mowing through this thing to try and get it done as quick as I can here. So we'll try to take top off at first. It's going to take a couple passes. And again, this band's still the same band. It's going to get whooped at some point, but we're still running with it. And it's cutting perfect. These guides are like they were sent from God. Uh, I think the height down on this small end is somewhere around to get me a good board. It's going to be somewhere around 8 inches kind of to cut out right there. So... We'll play with that, and as we come down, see if I can get some chunks off of here that are good for craft wood. I just posted up a ad on Facebook Marketplace for some of the craft wood pieces over there. They'll sell like hotcakes. So, see if we can get it mowed out before the eclipse here. I'm going to take it right here to try to uh, move it down a little bit. I'm going to do right here just to take the top off it. So just looking over here where I am, before I come back, I can drop down on this low spot right here. And I know that I got to be around, looks like eight inches is going to cut out. So we'll go back and where I was and I'll cut it out kind of like one inch pieces here it's like ten and three quarters I'm going to go down to uh, see what these pieces look like and they're kind of sucky I'm going to drop all the way down to nine Here. I want to go in the craft wood, maybe even a customer. It's about nine, I'm going to end up dropping an eight.
see what it looks like. I might drop the seven. It's not a bad kind of plank here. Not a bad plank there. I think I'll come down to seven. I don't see as it makes any difference. In those seven eighths boards. Give my back stop, so check. I think there are four. Yep. over get 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 yep. a good looking board here too oh some ants in it it's always nice ants I almost should take one more off it hmm Problem is that you're getting down into one by fours if you do that. I think what I'm going to do is. Oh, shit. Oh, he's right here. This side's pretty straight. I think I'm going to flip it up 90 degrees. Take the top off it. This side's pretty straight right here. Yeah, let's do that. Take this part off. Get closer to a camp here. See if I can square it up without being able to <coughs> see the side. Get these up a little bit. And of course they're too high, right? Of course they are. What happens when I try to do this? Okay. Gosh darn it. I can't take much off that side at all. That fucking thing's so hard. Let try to... I can't come down below that. I don't know where it is yet. I don't even think I can clean it up without going below that. I'm going to have to drop that down. This is going to come down at least to at least an inch. Let's try it there. That gives me quite a bit to play with there. Take top off it. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want their mills up higher than this. Saw somebody the other day on, so I can come down to nine here. So somebody the other day on a Woodland Mills page that was building a deck for their mill. The deck they were building was like this high. It's like, oh my God, you're going to friggin' hate it. I wish mine was lower. So, we need to get to nine-ish. There's one little piece of dirt here. This my brush. I'm not going to clean up this entire side. I just kind of want to Get a decent flat spot on the top. I 
what she's doing in there. See what nine looks like. I think I'm just going to run with it right there. Six. I should be able to come down to eight and take one more pass. Another decent board. Getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> All right, and we'll set our width now. Ish. About six inches is what I'm looking for. Probably just come down to six and do it there. Kenny, I don't know why she's not coming out, bud. cutting exactly on dimension. I think I'm going to come down to five. Hmm.
Well, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, look, it's Mommy. Danny, Mommy's here. Let's see what my whip is here. Five. I'm going to take it down to five. Uh, no. I'm just going to flip it on its side and cut it out. Hi, honey. How are you? What's up? All right, so we're hitting for one by sixes here. We mill the rest of it out. Um, uh, let's see, it's seven there. It's going to end up being six, I think, clean. I'm going to mill it out at seven eighths. So we'll just stay, instead of one inch scale, we'll just go on one inch reel and we'll mill it at seven eighths stuff like we have everything else. So we're going to come down to like seven and see what that looks like and then just drop on inches. Inch reel, not inch scale. Ah, oh, it's got a piece here. Nothing you can do about it. I mean, if I just gonna drop on the on the inch, it's coming down to six. Turns up, drop it down to five.
six turns up. Get these boards out of the way. We'll flip this one over so we can hold on to it and mill it off at one. Some ants in the middle. Not really sure where they're coming from. It's nice boards here so far. This band is still cutting. Unbelievable. The way things have always gone for me, I'm kind of waiting for it to run into a nail at this point. Usually what happens when I have a band that's cutting this good. It's a beautiful board here. Seven eighths by six. By something like nine feet long. So we'll flip it over so we can hold on to it. Oh, I'm all the way down. I can hold on to it just like this. Uh, oh, I think I'm good. Let's mill it at one. Looks like I'm clear. This is really cool how this is clear in this area. For the most part, so let's just drop it down to one and see if we're clear. board stuff will end up nice for them and then this bottom one's a little bit round but it's not bad not bad it's a nice board still cutting laser beam straight both edges are perfect it's nice and flat there's let me show you guys this see if I can get it over there so you can see it so you don't think I'm bullshitting you uh, I had a look at my time on the thing, so I'll try to get your view down here, so you can look at the edges on the top, and flip it over. This side's got a little bit more raggedy stuff on it, but hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you can see how flat it's cutting. There are no waves in it. Zero. It's beautiful. It's cutting, still cutting great. Did make a little bit of noise on that last pass, like making me believe that it's starting to get tall, but... So that's log number three. Yeah, in 24 minutes, charge them 30 bucks. And it's all, this is all one by six. And then there's all kind of ratty stuff there and a couple of uh, pretty good sized flitch cuts that they can use. I don't I think I'll just keep that, that one right there that's on the top to put on top of the stack so that no sunlight can get on it. So that's kind of like why I kept that there. So, yeah, it's log number three. And uh, that band for... Guys, look at this. going to be a... It's going to be a debate for those of you who hung on. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit. I'll tell you right now what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is that with the down pressure on the roller guides, the band runs different. Um, there's no way running ceramics that band's still cut like this. No way. Without that down pressure holding it in place, there's no way it's cut like this. Um, I think band 
guys are going to last longer on those roller blades because it's tensioning, tensioning them down and holding them more taut in between the guides. I don't think it'll get wavy as fast as with the ceramics. I, I really believe that. I mean, I've done a lot of cutting and uh, I don't know when I've had a band go out so far as this one and this cedar's dirty and it is still cutting really, really smooth. And do I see any chatter marks? Yeah, right here. There's a little bit right there. I can't see through the viewfinder, but if you see my fingers, some chatter marks right there. Look right here. And then there's a couple of chatter marks right here. But I mean, for as much time as I have on that band, that's cutting incredible. I mean, the edges are pristine. The the top of the lumber is flat. I know, I know that those are only one by sixes, but I can tell you when my band starts to get whooped before with the ceramics. Even if I was cutting one by sixes, anywhere near the speed that I'm running right now, anywhere near this speed that I'm pushing these through, because I'm humping through these, you know, I'm not taking my time, but it, the band will be going like this. That band is still cutting great. Uh, I'm, I think it's the guides. I really do, guys. Very impressed. Thumbs up. Pirate Solutions out.